Hello, my name is J.R. Arnold and I work at the Clyde Austin 4-H Center in Greene County, Tennessee. And today I'm here to talk to you about summer camp. There's lots of things to do when you come to summer camp. Um, today we're going to actually talk about fossils. Now when you think of summer camp, you don't always think of fossils. But at the Clyde Austin 4-H Center, we have a museum quality collection that you are allowed to go in and actually put your hands on these fossils. You can touch dinosaur eggs, dinosaur bones, pick up a woolly mammoth tooth, and really enjoy these things up close and personal. Uh, today, I want to show you some things that you might see at the camp. This is a fossil fish. There's lots of things we can learn from fossils, and one thing I know for sure is I always enjoy learning something new. Um, this fossil fish I collected in 2011 in Khmer, Wyoming. All right, uh, this fossilized fish lived in a freshwater lake system that was as big as the Great Lakes are today. Uh, these lakes have since dried up and are gone, but we can find the animals that lived in these lakes that were buried in the sediments. These fish are from the Eocene period, which is about 55 million years ago. This is about 10 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. This was a subtropical area, and we know this because in the same area we find these fish, we find palm trees and alligators uh, along with these fossils. Um, so we can learn a lot about fossils by where we find them and what we find with them. Uh, this lake system uh, was a mountain lake system and today all it is is a high desert. We find these fish out in the desert at about 7,000 feet in elevation. Now along with all these real fossils that you can see at the camp, we have a lot of fossil replicas. Replicas are used by scientists um, so that they can study and enjoy these fossils without putting the originals in any kind of danger. This is a velociraptor skull. Now I know this looks a lot smaller than what you've seen in Jurassic Park, but Jurassic Park was entertainment. And the raptors in Jurassic Park were more like a Utah raptor. They were much, much larger. These were much smaller, maybe 150 pounds, is the size of a large dog or wolf. Um, and we can tell a lot about these animals. We can look at their sharp teeth. We know that these animals ate meat uh, because of their sharp teeth. And the one way that we know this is because we still have animals alive today that have sharp teeth and they eat meat. And that's, a, that's one way that we tell about fossils. So you come to the camp, go into this room, there's a T-Rex head in this room, there's a Megalodon jaw, there's all kinds of these replicas for you to enjoy along with the actual fossils. So come see me at the Clyde Austin 4-H Center. Uh, we'll get together, we'll learn a few things about our world, we'll have fun while we do it. So thank you and enjoy your summer.